Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today I'm doing something a little bit different than usual. Um, a few days ago I got this package from a friend of mine, another uh, YouTuber. His name is Verunning Trains. Uh, check out his channel. I will link it in the description. Um, and uh, he decided to send me um, a best sellers box from the National Mustard Museum located in Middletown, Wisconsin. Um, and uh, he, he works there and I'm actually, I really do love mustard. It's probably one of my favorite condiments and all that. Um, so uh, I just wanted to do a little unboxing and just to see uh, what we get inside and also give a big special thanks to Varun for sending this box of mustard. So let's go ahead and open it up without further ado. Um, again, uh, if I didn't say it already, which I probably did, but go check out Varun. His channel is Varunning Trains. Um, he just hit 100 subscribers a few weeks ago. Um, he makes some really, really cool videos on uh, River Rossi locomotives, and uh, he just released a cool little music video with his River Rossi um, Southern PS4s, um, or his, his, his HO scale PS4s, rather. Um, but anyway, let's get into the unboxing. So as you can see, the first thing we get when we open this thing up, we get a little, I just want to make sure there's no, uh, okay, good. Here we go. So here we have a postcard. There it is from the National Mustard Museum in Middletown, Wisconsin, um, where my friend Varun works. Peace, love, and mustard. Really cool, funny uh, postcard. There's the uh, top left-hand corner if you want to read all about the National Mustard Museum. Um, go ahead and pause that if you want. Looks like Varun wrote a little note. Yes, this place is real. Well, I can certainly um, say that this, this looks very professional. Yes. <laughs> so... That's actually really cool. I love that. I love that it came with a postcard and everything. So, um, very nice. And now we have a bunch of packing peanuts, which is fun. So we're gonna go ahead and try to find the first mustard. So this is. Uh, it looks like on the side of the box here it says it is the best sellers I'll just bring this up so the best sellers box here if I can focus the camera there we go so it looks like we got mustard at Tiffany's gone with the mustard I think uh, those are just movie names <laughs> That are just that just have mustard added in the name, the mustards that mustard lovers ask for when they visit the mustard museum. So these are supposedly the best-selling mustards, or they are, I should say, the best-selling mustards that the museum has to offer. So, all right, so we're gonna open up these this uh, best sellers box, and we're gonna figure out or see what we get. Oh, nice. <laughs> and here we get a little pamphlet for the National Mustard Museum, home of the world's largest mustard collection. King of the condiments. Very nice. It's all about mustard. All about its history. Some fun facts. <laughs> Very cool. A lot of fun little neat facts in here. A 
and all that fun stuff. There's a little map there of where it is in Middletown, or Middleton, excuse me, right outside Madison, Wisconsin. So, I've actually never been out there, so I think that'd be a cool trip to check out, or do. So, alright, so we're going to open up the first, the first jar out. Let's see what we get. Let's see. So this one is Daddy Cook's Mustard Blends Exotic Ginger Curry. And I can't really... Oh, here we go. Grand Champion Worldwide Mustard Ca Competition. Very nice. And there are labels for... There it is, the National Mustard Museum. There's a label. Wow, this looks really good. Now, I'm not going to be opening all these and trying them just yet. I will actually do that in a separate video because um, I do not have the room in my fridge right now. So, the actual review of these mustards will be on hold for right now. Um, plus, I'll be getting ready for moving back to school and all that fun stuff. But anyway, exotic ginger curry. This sounds really, really good. Um... I'm actually quite curious to see what it tastes like. So, there's all the ingredients, all the nutrition facts, all that fun stuff. Um, very nice. Alright, let's move on to the next mustard that we have. Right here. Okay, this one is the Slim and Nunny. This looks like it is right out from the National Mustard Museum. Your chances of finding a better mustard are slim and none. Oh, slim and none. <laughs> there we go. Sweet and nicely hot mustard. Wow. So this is produced for the uh, museum itself. So I guess this is like a museum exclusive. <laughs> clinical studies on the effects of this mustard on laboratory animals are a waste of time <laughs> ingredients in this mustard are closer than they appear <laughs> oh man that's great I love the sense of humor on the labeling slim and none Ooh, this looks really good so sweet and nicely hot. I actually like mustards like that. That's actually really, that sounds really good. So, alrighty. We're going to move on to the next mustard. I believe there's six total. I've opened two so far. So, almost halfway there. Um, let's see what this one is. We've got... Ooh! Doman Farm. Smoky, smoky chipotle mustard all natural wow would you look at that that looks really good of course there are the ingredients and the nutrition facts there's another label for the national mustard museum okay so this was made out in indiana very nice Doman Farm. Wow. Smoky Chipotle Mustard. I don't think I've ever heard of a mustard like that. That's really, that sounds really good. I'm actually, I'm really curious to try. I don't even know which mustard I'm going to try first. So, um, but I think this one definitely might be one of the first uh, to try because this sounds really good. So, alrighty. All natural. That's awesome. Alrighty. So, I'm going to move on to the next last three that we have here. This packaging is a little weird. Alright, so let's see. This one is Terrapin Farm, Terrapin Ridge Farms uh, Dill Pickle Mustard, which sounds amazing. Holy crap. Artesian Essentials. 
gluten free, all that fun stuff. Of course, all the there's the National Mustard Museum sticker again. So these guys are from Clearwater, Florida. Best by 2023. I'll I'll definitely finish it by then. <laughs> before way before then. Mouthwatering dill pickles and smooth Dijon. It's the mustard you've been waiting for. Wow. Yeah, this sounds really good. This is definitely one I'm going to try as soon as I can. Very nice. So, man, that's that looks amazing. Alrighty, let's move on to the last two mustards that we have here. Alright. So we got, wow. Moutard du Bone, if I'm pronouncing that right. Edmund Follow. Falle it's a French mustard. Let's see. Moutard du Dijon. Dijon mustard. So this is definitely French. Of course, it's Dijon mustard. There's the National Mustard Museum sticker again. Um, of course, that's on all those. So this one has all the ingredients in, or all the nutrition facts in French and in English. So that's really cool. Ooh. I wonder if this is any different than like the regular Dijon mustard that you find in like a, um, uh, you know, like in Giant or any other grocery store, Acme. Um, this looks really good. Dijon mustard is one of my favorites, so I'm definitely excited too try this. Let's see. 1840 France. Wow. I guess they've been making it for that long. That's incredible. Alrighty. So, that's five out of six. Last one coming out here. Alrighty. And this one. The last one. Kelly's Stone Ground Mustard. Or sorry, Kelly's Gourmet. Stone ground mustard. This one looks really good. Uh, there's the nutrition facts and all that, and the ingredients. Again, the National Mustard Museum sticker. Of course, you've seen that too many times right now. So it looks like this one's a pretty big award winner. Won a gold medal at the Worldwide Mustard Competition in 2013. Uh, of course, hosted by the National Mustard Museum. And the Worldwide Mustard Competition uh, Silver Medal in 2015. Again, hosted by the National Mustard Museum. And wow, does this look good. I'm going to have to try these either with a ham and mustard or with pretzels. Um, uh, the Philly Pretzel Factory pretzels would probably go really good with that. Um, or even on a bratwurst with sauerkraut sounds really good so alright so that's all the mustards um there's the empty box for you so um yeah um I'll keep you guys updated and give me one minute alright so here are all the mustards lined up uh, right in front of the bestseller box that it came in um, I'd like to thank uh, Varun of Varunning Trains uh, please go check out his channel um, and also special thanks to him and the National Mustard Museum for these uh, really incredible mustards. Um, I plan on doing a follow-up video just reviewing, um, you know, the different mustards and their, their tastes and how, they, how well they go, go with different foods. So um, keep an eye out for that in the future. Um, but other than that, uh, stay tuned for other videos um, here on the channel. Um, I don't really have too much planned right now other than the July layout update, which will be coming out within the next few weeks. Um, and yeah, that's it. So please go check out for running trains. Um, I really can't thank him enough for this and go check out the national muster museum in Middletown or Middleton, Wisconsin. Um, if you are a mustard enthusiast, like I am. Um, so until next time, thank you guys for watching and see you later.